Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another video on our uh, series of videos discussing Oracle Cloud. And today we are going to cover uh, how to configure and connect Linux virtual machine. So we were discussing about compute features uh, option in Oracle Cloud. So today we are going to explore it, uh, this compute virtual machine and uh, we will install one, maybe Oracle Linux 8 or 9. Uh, it depends on your requirement, but uh, today we will just be installing maybe Oracle Linux 8, right? So let's proceed to our uh, Oracle cloud, uh, cloud account and we will install it and connect, right? Okay, so this is my uh, Oracle Cloud account. It is again, still I'm using always free because uh, these demonstrations we can do in the free account as well. So if you see here, uh, if you click here, first is the home, next is compute, right? This is the first uh, option, right? So here you will click on this instances, right? If you will have already configured, it will show you uh, over here, but here at the moment I have terminated two, just for the demos, and now I am going to create a new one, create instance. Why you need it? So let's say, for example, you have certain applications which you want to move to cloud, but those are not Oracle uh, uh, databases or, I mean, uh, in, uh, you can't install it in Oracle Apex and uh, things like that. So you need some machine, right? So you can create virtual machines. Let's say, for example, you need to install an application server, things like that. So <clears throat> here you have the instance name. So let's say, for example, I would say Oracle Linux 8, right? Create in compartment. Here you have the compartments. I'm just uh, going with the default one. So placements, since it is always free, so it is al already selected AD1, availability domain. Uh, capacity type on demand capacity for domain is uh, choose the best for domains right uh, security we are not doing anything over here so here is the image and shape the ma 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 major thing where you have to decide so image is this shape is this and image build date and uh, cpu o cpu count memory gb1 network bandwidth since it is free so it is assigning it like this let me go inside this uh, this is a selection right and uh, shape is this one vm standard e2 1 micro with your machine etc right so even you can change but it is always free eligible right okay let me show you uh, the images right so you can go with oracle linux ubuntu red hat CentOS, Windows, <coughs> Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, I don't know, Marketplace, my image. And if you have your own image, you can even upload that one, right? So you have exported uh, image locally, and now you want to go with that. So you can have that. Uh, since I've selected Oracle Linux, and if you see here, these are all always free, right? So this is Oracle Linux 8 I've uh, selected, right? And if you will go with any other, let me show you in a quick way. There are Ubuntu images as well, available, different variants. Uh, Red Hat. So you will have to upload the Red Hat Linux uh, image over here. Sent OS. Right, there are two available windows. Let me see if there is anything. Yes, servers are available, right? See, these are not free. These are, you will have to pay the license fee, right? Publisher, okay. And uh, let's, okay. Uh, let me check it, what is there in the marketplace. Okay. So, these are available. Apex, Apex Print, uh, API Server. Um, there, there are different availability over here. Right. Okay, so I have selected already Oracle Linux 8 and let me come back 
and here you have the, this uh, shape as well let us see so we will be going with the free at the moment right so if you want to upgrade then you will need to use a paid session right at the moment we don't need so we'll just cancel and we will go with the defaults right uh, primary when I see here you have the network availability or options so if you see here uh, assign and public IP address you need public IP in order to connect from outside your cloud so let's say for example if you have to connect from your on-premises machine to your cloud then you need a public IP right so assign so it will automatically assign uh, a public IP to this instance right uh, automatically assigned on creation private uh, so there is a private IP as well. There will be two types of IP, right? Public and private. Uh, public is used to connect externally, globally, right? So if this instance will be available if you have this public IP from anywhere. If you have the internet, you can connect to the instance. Now this private IPs, these are required. Let's say, for example, you have two machines, virtual machines, you have to connect with each other. So there you need a private IP address, right? Machines to machine connectivities within, uh, I mean, within your uh, 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 cloud network, right? So for that, you need this one. Okay, now this is important because for connectivity, we have to download this, right? So what I will do, you can keep both the keys. I will be downloading this uh, uh, private key, right? So it is in my uh, folder. Let me copy this one because I have to again visit this one so this is my SSH key save this is a private key saved right okay let us go down boot volume use a transit encryption and I'm not changing anything over here and we'll just create and you have by the way advanced options as well if you need to use any right up to you this is clouds see there are certain agents if you want to install those so i will just go with the create option it will take a few seconds and meanwhile we will just go through this option with uh, sorry information which is displaying in front of us and let me let me close this one okay uh, if you see here, there is a certain information related to your uh, instance. Uh, On-demand capacity is there. Instance access, once it is provisioned, then you will get the instance access over here, some details. And this is the public IP. See, it is available now. But let us uh, discuss about this. Public IP is this. This will be required for us to connect from our local PC, right? And this is the pass, uh, username, right? OPC. The uh, different flavors of Linux will have or can have different uh, usernames, but this is default. It is providing you OPC, right? And then you have this is your private IP address 10004. Okay. This is the same one, right? Public. Uh, I don't think so you need any other information to connect but let's say for example we have uh, downloaded and it is running now okay let us come back to the instances and let me show you this is Linux always free region okay one more thing if you want some uh, information to hide or display over here you can come to table settings right so by default the left left one uh, displaying in this uh, grid and if you want to add anything from here you can add right so let's say for example this image it is added uh, what else compartment okay primary vnic and just just i just wanted to show you if you want to so it will display over here, right this is compartment, this is primary man, see, at the moment we are using this one, right? Okay, uh, now since we have downloaded our private key and now we need to see, 
This is our private key. Let me show you the contents, right? This is the private key. Now we need putty client to connect, but before that, we need to generate a putty uh, format using putty gen. P U W T Y putty gen application, right? And here I will load, right? This is Oracle Cloud and just select from here this key right okay it is loaded and now i have to save private key right this is the private key so in now it will uh, are you sure you want to save this key yes right so i am sh sharing let's say for example oci uh, linux 8 private key right now it will save it in dot ppk this is this format is required to the portrait so i will be just saving it and that's it it is saved now now i can close this one now i will be using putty this is my putty client and now i need what sorry uh public ip so i will just copy public ip i will come to my putty and here is the putty and then you have to click this sh on the left and then authorization credentials right here you have private key for authentication so browse and we just saved this uh, private key open and that's it right so this public ip is already there and open accept and our Username was OPC. OPC. Wow. So we are in Linux environment. The way you were uh, have using local uh, instance, the same way it is in cloud, right? So you can just uh, click uh, anything. You can create folder, whatever. It's a Linux machine, right? But for root. Many things you can do with OPC, you will have to click su sudo minus i, you will be connected as root, right? So, this is your root, that's it. MK directory, ERP stuff, ls, that's it, right? So, this is how you can connect to your Linux machine, same way you can uh, connect or use Windows or any other flavor uh, let me show you i will share this link as well uh, oracle uh, documentation so here you have this information connected to an it's and steps are written over here connected to windows instance and all those things so if i will show you linux you have these steps written over here how you can create the keys and all those things they are right since all uh, load private key even this uh, footage and information is also there right and that's it right and for windows you can click on the windows instance and it will show you how you can connect to the windows instance right so you can follow the step but the point is you can uh, just use a compute virtual machine and now let me uh, show you this is how you can stop okay stop reboot whatever you want terminate so i'm just going to stop it let's say for example for stop instant immediately powered off right i'm sure you will not do on the production but this is how you can play with your virtual machine in the cloud but ideally if you see here if you have to locally buy a hardware and you have to install you have to wait i mean so many things and here we have done all maybe less than five minutes so this is what cloud attracts you so this is stop so let's say for example i'm just clicking here terminate permanent terminate instance so this will this is just like deletion or removal of the instance so then i can't uh, bring it back it will be now this is terminated it will take few seconds now if you see here public and private uh, ips are removed unassigned that's it so this is how you can uh, let me go to this one use compute 
instances, right? And even you can access over here. Let me show you home. I think this is home, right? I wanted to go to my dashboard. I don't know why it's not coming over here. Console settings. Okay, here. Just click this Oracle Cloud icon. Uh, even you can use from here, recently used, and all those things. Dashboard. Right. See, instances, three instances it is showing, but those are already terminated, right? That's it. I think uh, now you are comfortable to understand. And by the way, <coughs> this uh, um, virtual machine, it will be available in other clouds as well. The same way it is available here, the only thing might be navigation or, you know, these will be different, but uh, it is the same way. Now, if you will, I mean, Oracle Linux will be uh, available here. It will be available elsewhere as well. Uh, you will have to decide yourself what exactly you are looking for, where you are looking for, why you are looking for. Then it will be very straightforward for you to decide and proceed. Right. Uh, please go through this, share your feedback, and keep visiting the channel for more videos on this topic. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Right. Thank you very much. And Allah Hafiz.